Can you see my hands on the box? Hey. So what is in this box? This is the first beta test edition of the Electromagnet board game. So how do you play it? Um, you know the game Tic-Tac-Toe? Yeah. It's like a three-dimensional Tic-Tac-Toe where you have to battle for the position. And you don't get, um, you can't, you can like go for a position, but you can't the battle to get it. Ooh, they like shrink wrapped it in everything. I be, because I ordered it as components, so I was worried that they weren't gonna box it up and it would just be like separate components. But I guess this is what it would look like. All shrink wrapped in a custom box. Take a look at the back here. Okay. See his um little. You can see his lo You can see his logo at the bottom here. Yeah. See the sides. Let's upside down again. You have some artwork on the sides. Some uh, some quotes here. And on the back here, it seems like we have an example of what it looks like. Yeah, tell me when to flip, because you'll be the cameraman, I'll be the flipper man. Any more flip, or can I open it up? Let's just check the sides here. We've got some more artwork. Some quotes here. I'll get the camera steady. Oh, I'll read it in voiceover later. Okay. All right, let's open this up. See what we got there. Don't want to damage the box. What's next? I don't know what I need. I'll give you wait. That's okay. All right, we got it. Okay, so this part we're gonna cut out the audio. The shrink wrap is off. Let's see what's inside. Wow, the box is like glossy. Probably it doesn't need to be glossy. Check feel here. Probably could do it matte. But yeah, it it's is, pretty glossy. It is, it's like super glossy. <laughs> wow, more shrink wrap. We got some around the front here, which I guess is the board yeah. that you play on. The it's board. a pretty heavy board. I guess they made this out of like... Some sort of material here. Yeah, some thick card something. Like almost like wood. Yeah. Probably some pressed wood fibers. And it's shrink wrapped by itself. See what's in the box here. Oh, sorry. So we have the the little markers, as I think. Those hold the cards. Oh, They're the card holders. Hold cards, yeah. And these are the markers, Those sorry. Are the markers, the magnetic polarity. And we have the dice here. Yeah, cool dice. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is even more markers. That's kind of the tic tac toe of it, yeah. And we have the also comes with a card deck. Yeah, and it's like a poker deck. It's used. You could play cards with these as well. Shut the door. Everything individually is And we have up, some special cards as well here. Random event cards. <coughs> Technology cards. Tiny cards. Components cards. Components. Um, for, what is that? Uh, megalithic structures. All right, we'll open the individuals in a minute. And we have this card here. The, man, the manual, the standard rules. All right, let's. Oh, and it comes in this little like cradle here. 
I don't think there's anything underneath it, but it just makes it cool. And there's the box. All right, let's open these things one at a time. Let's start with the board. Right. See? Da -da -da -da. It's wow. got it's got a little um fold here. Which yeah. I guess is for just so you can fold it. And the board is glossy too. Everything is glossy. <laughs> I'm guessing this um gloss yeah. version is probably going to cost extra. The fully well, glossed. Well, yeah. I mean, Monopoly is like 20 bucks. This thing is probably going to be 75 bucks. This uh, but it'd be a fun game. Yeah, this beta copy was like 190 bucks. But it'd be a fun game. The retail is going to be, I think, 75. It's going to be a fun game. All right, let's look at some of the components. I'll I'll, I'll open them <laughs> and you show them to the components. <laughs> so he, the first one is the manual or the rules, as they call it. Oh my goodness. I love that everything is shrink-wrapped. People are going to get their money's worth. All right, show a bit of the rules. So we have the rules here. I've never read them before. Well, just you and I are going to read them all on camera, just kind of show. They look like... We have the rules here. Do you remember the form in the graphic novel? It's made to look like that form. Only it's the... Um, I'm only going to show the first few pages yeah. of it, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's got a full rule book there. Wow, it's a lot of tools the there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably some characters as well in there. Let's show the random event cards next. You might want to have a um, rubber band, some rubber bands around so you can keep these in We're order. We're definitely going to need rubber bands, yeah. Well, the poker deck comes with its own deck. But the others don't show Is those cards? cards to the camera. Huh, unleash the Kraken. <laughs> These shadow mirrors are from the book. You could read them to get more information on them. Oh my goodness, these dice are awesome. Yeah, I'm going to head and open the dice. And these dice, they are relatively light. They they have a nice feel to them. Roll them. Seems like they, they're they kind of the dice that just land and then don't roll that much. <laughs> I think uh, I think they can roll. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess they are pretty heavy. Wow. Oh, 12. Yeah. Okay, any more things to show? Oh, okay. The card well, deck? The poker deck we've seen before, but yes. some of these... You could check that You could check that out in another decks. video of ours where we review that deck. Let's open the technology cards. I believe um, one that Mom drew is in here, the electromagnet wings. Technology cards. Should probably get these off the board. Technology cards here. We've got um these. Let's see what we have on the back here. Seems like they're all the same. Mm -hmm. No, well they're not all. There's a uh, different. There's some. There's some that show up more than once. There's the Faraday cage. Repair, the repair cage. kit. The wings, which mom drew. You might want. You might need to sh shuffle these before. Um, yeah, beforehand. Yeah. Definitely shuffle them. Tesseract. Um, Thunderbolt of the gods. Faraday. Um, what is that? Vimana. Faraday cage. And they go here on the technology cards. Um, you might need to shuffle these beforehand to, before yeah. you play. Random event cards. Oh wait. Is the, that really where I put those? I, I'm guessing those cards are pre shuffled. Yeah. Though the um normal cards, the deck mm -hmm. of cards need to be shuffled beforehand. Yeah, if you already have the deck, 
it's, it's going to be this exactly the same as the existing deck. Yeah, so if you have the deck beforehand, you might just, um, it, you might, you're going to have an extra one if you order this box. Mm -hmm. Which is good. You can use one for the game and one for poker. Wow, shrink wrapped even on the inside. The box is a, a, as well glossed. Mm -hmm. See, the box is shiny, it's glossed. Everything's glossy. Basically... Heck, even the manual is yeah. gloss. Basically, it's a, um, it's a fancy thing. It's not a... Um, and, of course, there will, be an, uh, there will be an option to buy the unglossed version. Or not. Not sure. Well, I think that would happen if it would went to seems wide like distribution. Are, seems but like on the Kickstarter, it'll just be the glossy. Seems like there are way more cards in here than average. Sixty-four. Well, no, 54? there's fifty-two plus two jokers. Okay. There might be other cards beside the jokers, like instruction cards. I'm not sure. Seems like these are just a normal deck of cards. The megalithic structures. These are obelisk. just a normal deck of cards. A lot of the obelisk, stone circle. There may be a pyramid. There's maybe just those three. So this is just a average deck of cards, except they have the logo on the back of them. Mm -hmm. And also the picture cards are based on the characters from the book. You know the picture cards, like the king and the queen? They're characters from the book. Oh, and the main character from the book... Noah Tell is on the cover of the of the book. Yeah. The blue book. Will you be selling a bundle of the board game, the card set, and the book? Yeah, yeah. Probably be like a hundred bucks for that. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Here's the component cards. These are like not really interesting. To You're showing the back of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're just um, they're functional. They're not really artistic. But anyway, I have those here. This is just the um side here. And then the markers. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag. They're just markers. And then the playing board here. <laughs> finally getting to that. Basically, that's um where you're gonna play. Title, not... The title here is at the bottom. Yeah. Huh. It seems like there's even spots where you're supposed to put the things. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say, for example, you were playing as the Red King, which happens to be Noah Tell. Here's the board, uh, of which you're trying to gain. This is just one sample of patterns, and in fact, those are you probably would start with these like simpler ones, and there's some more complex ones when you're really like owning the board. But basically, you try to own segments of the board. You eventually want to own all of the boards. So I heard you were talking about um, you would battle for spots on the board. Can yeah. you explain that? Uh, Let's take tell. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do another video that explains the full tutorial. But basically, it's the way you normally, if you're familiar with card games, would work. You would go for the spot, and then you would, you know throw down your cards and someone else would throw down their cards and you would see basically who won and whether or not you got the spot or they blocked you and sometimes there's like random event cards that can help you or hurt you yeah of course um, another thing mom designed was this robot of course there is a of course we won't be explaining the, the instructions those will be for your you yourself to read yeah oh and there's the shadow mares <laughs> so what do these um, random event Teleportation. cards do? These random event cards. Um, the random event cards can change what happens in the game. They can help or hurt. They can like help you close a circuit. They could stop you from getting the circuit. They could block you from a turn. They could advance you a turn. They could move you across the board, which is what this uh, teleportation does. They could de EMP discharge, could stop your, like you could build a circuit and then this EMT discharge could disable your EMP, circuit. EMP, not EMT. Right, a magnetic storm could do the same thing or it could help you. 
gravity inversion, you could lose your, you know, your items. Shadow mares. Could oh, wait, 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 wait. What items are you talking about? Um, these locations on the board that you've captured and given your stamp on and created your circuit. Okay. I think when mom's done, we'll stop this video because it's already 15 minutes. But we'll do a voiceover. It seems like the, the this is supposed to be like maybe bets on this side. It says yeah. wagers. And then the cards are supposed to go over here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make up a segment of gameplay just so we can like showcase it. Well, 